All right, 7.2 compound interest. If you're in the 3M class, 7.2 will translate to 8.2 in the 3M class. All right, now, A equals P times 1 plus I to the power of N. This formula here that we see is known as the compound interest formula. This compound interest, A equals P times 1 plus I to the power of N, I call the APIN formula. So we have a little saying that goes with this unit, and the saying goes like this. I, pretty princess, a pin is a pain in the rain. The reason why we, I say those, that little way, uh, that little ac um, rhyming way to say things is because that little rhyme has to do with all the formulas. In the first part, 7.1, we saw I, pretty. 7.2, we see the pin formula. 7.3, we'll see the pain formula. And 7.4, we will see the uh, rain formula. And the final one, in 7.5, we will see the prin formula, part of the princess formula. So we're going to see I pretty princess and a pin is a pain in the rain formulas. So these formulas, if you're in the 3U, you need to memorize. In 3M, you'll be given those formulas. All right, you just have to memorize the names of the formulas. All right, the first formula, A equals P, 1 plus I to the power of N. This formula, the pin formula, I call it, this compound interest formula has different parts. A stands for amount. That's the amount in the future. That's the amount later. A for later. That's the one that we need later on down the road. You have the P, which stands for the principal, the present value, how much it's worth right now, the original value. I is now, be careful here, it is known as the interest rate, so the small i, as a decimal, divided by this special word. We're going to learn what the word is the word. What is that word? We'll find out. N is known as the years times, oh, again, the word. Notice that there are capital letters and lowercase letters. All the lowercase letters have to do with the word. All right. So just a reminder, anytime it's a lowercase in the compounding formula, compounding formulas, the lowercase letters are either I for divide by the word or N you multiply the word. So here we go. What is the word, folks? Well, the word could be annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, and daily. These are the key words that you'll be exposed to. So what do these words translate? Obviously, normally, we don't divide by a word, but each of these words means something in terms of a year. In fact, they mean a number in terms of a year. Annually means once a year. Semi-annually means twice a year. Quarterly means four times a year. Monthly means 12 times a year. Weekly means 26 times a year. But, um, but So that's bi-weekly means 26 times a year. Weekly means 52 times a year. And finally, daily means 365 days a year. So each of these words translate to numbers that we would either divide when we're working with I or multiply when working with N. All right, let's see these words put to use. Here's an example. $5,000 is invested for 18 years at 8.1% per annum compounded monthly. So you need to find out how 
how much is it worth after 18 years? So we want to know how much it's worth after 18 years. This is an example of, let's say, um, Grandma and Grandpa gave you $5,000 on the day you are born to be put towards education. This is what a lot of parents have done. So they want to know how much you'll have. And 8.1% is approximately the yielded rate that uh, you would have earned had your parents put it into an RESP or they had put the money into a education plan. And those both those pl education plans or RESPs had a decent rate of return. Not perfect, but it was a, around 8.1%. At the time when they were selling it, they were saying that in by the 18th birthday that you'll have earned like 15 or 16% in return, but that didn't happen because of the recessions that hit us. So, A, we don't know. Why do we, do we know A? That's the future amount. We don't know how much it's worth in 18 years, but we do know the principal and the interest rate, now be careful here, is 0 0.081, right? That's the decimal, divided by the word. What's the word, folks? The word is monthly. So because it's monthly, we take it and we divide by 12. So again, the top part is the decimal percent. The bottom number is the word. And N is 18 years times the word, which is 12. Plug it into the formula, 5,000, bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. And notice I did not change either I or N. And you never need to, folks. You could for N, but definitely not for I. Do me a huge favor and just copy it as is. Anyways, why those are in brackets is if you don't have a funky duty, folks, you have to include those brackets as well in order to type it in your calculator. Ultimately, the final amount will be $21,381.78. So had this been invested on your first year birthday, your parents would ha now have $21,381.78 for you to be able to go to school. That's three years of tuition, at least, right there, right in front of you, that could have been done with a simple $5,000 investment the moment you were born. Finally, you need a therefore statement because you end with words. And here's the homeworks for the entire unit, folks. 7.1 to 7.5 plus the review. Please make sure you do those questions. If you're in the 3M class, please ignore this. In the 3M class, the whole goal is that you'd start the review. Please do, for the review in the 3M, start the review and do 7.1 through, uh, sorry, 8.1 through 8.6, uh, do the review. Do the, each of the sections as we do them each day. All right, thanks. Let's go on to the next video.